During yesterday's session of Catawba County Superior Court here in Newton, 58-year-old Tony Marshall Shook admitted to shooting and killing 28-year-old Samuel Antonio Hernandez Loza of Conover. That occurred early the morning of October 19th, 2020. Superior Court Judge Lynn Gullett sentenced Shook to a minimum of 20 years in prison. Gullett also recommended that Shook get substance abuse treatment while in prison, and the defendant is also required to pay Loza's family $6,561.79 in restitution. Assistant District Attorney Melanie Earls said Shook gave a woman he was involved with between $400 and $500 to buy drugs. The woman met with Loza to purchase the drugs. They were fake, according to case evidence. Sheila Lale, who is charged with accessory after the fact in this case, went to Shook's house to use drugs with him on October 19th of 2020. While Lale was at the home, Shook began talking about someone owing him money for the fake drugs. Shook and Lale went to the residence that Loza had been staying at on Whitetail Circle in Conover. The two were allowed to enter the home. Assistant DA Earls told the court that Shook and Lale went into the bedroom at Loza's home. Shook pointed a gun at the victim and demanded $500. Shook shot Loza when he said he did not have the money. Earl said Shook and Lale searched Loza's pockets. She said they took about $15 and multiple green Xanax bars. Loza died at the scene from a gunshot wound to the chest. The suspects fled the Whitetail Circle residence prior to law enforcement officers arrival at the scene. Lale remained in the Catawba County Detention Facility as of earlier today. The Catawba County Sheriff's Office investigated this case. Reporting from the Catawba County Justice Center in Newton, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY-TV News.